today I'm going to run you through how to terminate RG59 coax using male uh, two-piece BNC crimp connectors. For most of the cameras that you get, the pigtail that comes out of it is already going to be terminated for a 2.1 millimeter plug for power, which we're not going to talk about now, and then a female coax connector. Uh, so I'm going to run you through how to terminate both ends of your cable using male connectors. Functionality of the two, uh, female and male, is the same except for your male connectors will spin when you're terminated and your female connectors will not. Um, for everything that we have here, we've got 18-2 power wire that I've stripped down just so you can see it. Uh, just stranded 18-2, uh, red for positive, black for negative. You have RG59 coax cable. You have a ratcheting crimp tool. You have an RG59 um, and RG6. This one's a universal uh, cable stripper. And then you have power wire strippers too. And you have male two-piece BNC connectors and the ferrules for those male uh, BNC connectors. Your The tool that I use is a ratcheting crimper. Um, so you can use something to knock it out um, if you want it knocked out or you can just squeeze and once the ratchet lets go you are ready to go. Okay, let me move all this. Okay, so on your coax stripper there's normally a diagram that shows you which direction the cable needs to go in so you line it up in your guide on the end and I normally go both ways, twirl it both ways to make sure that it has a clean cut on your vinyl and you're gonna have two cuts I have never had a coax stripper that's absolutely perfect, that strips it down to absolutely exactly what you need. So at this point, you are going to slide a ferrule on small end first, pull back all of your copper braid, and you can wear gloves to do this or just have uh, tape handy so you can pick all the copper braid pieces out of your fingers when you're done. Okay, power strippers, um, it's an 18 gauge center conductor, so I use an 18 gauge wire stripper. And then you strip down the center conductor, or cut down the center conductor just a little bit more. Uh, you've got about an eighth of an inch of white insulation, a quarter of an inch or so of center conductor showing. And on your connectors, you have a hole on the inside of the connector of the fitting that the center conductor has to fit in, so just make sure that it fits well. And then when you slide your ferrule up, you want to make sure that your copper braid is actually getting sandwiched in between the ferrule and the connector. For two-piece connectors, that is what holds the connector on. I hold it in place, um, end and cable, just to make sure that nothing slides off. I do the small ferrule first, and the large portion of the connector next. And on the connector, you have a small hex die at the top larger hex die in the middle so you can see at a glance which one you need. Um, to check to make sure that you have a good connection you will have two hex crimps so that makes it easy. Um, you can pull on a male connector and it's also free spinning. Make sure you've got both or you don't have a good connector. And this one I have already stripped down uh, with the coax strippers and cut down, folded everything back so you're ready to go. So again you want to slip on your ferrule small side first. Make sure you've got your center conductor in the hole. Slide it up. And you want small side first. Big die next. Check your connector. And free spinning. And you're good to go. I hope that helps.